Greetings and welcome to week three of my 60 minute map tournament. In this video, I'm going to be announcing the theme words for the week three map. But first, I wanna give you a quick update on week two and some tips for building your map in 60 minutes. So in week two, you were challenged to create a puzzle or a mini game map, and you had to somehow incorporate the theme words of nostalgia and community. As of this video, I already have 19 entries, which is awesome, and half of the entrants are from new people who didn't participate in week one. That is so cool, and this is just a reminder to anyone who has not yet entered, uh, you have until midnight tonight, which is Friday, August 14th, to put your entry in. I'm really looking for some of the folks from week one to come back with a puzzle or mini game. I am going to be announcing the winner on Monday. I will be playing all the maps this weekend. Uh, although I note I probably won't be able to do a live stream just based on what's uh, going on in my real life. I'll be playing them at off times. And then once I announce the winner on Monday, I'm going to actually post my LPs of each individual entry over the next seven days before week four starts. So let's get into some tips about week three. Now in week three, you will have one week to submit your entry. And I, this time I wanna see either a PVP map, a survival map, or a parkour map that will complete all of the major map types that I use in my reviews of over 800 Minecraft custom maps. And theme words we'll be figuring out in a moment, but let me tell you about some tips first. So when you're building a 60 minute map and you have certain keywords as your theme, you don't necessarily have to make the map entirely about those keywords. For example, if one of the keywords was cake, you wouldn't have to make a map about a giant cake, going through a cake, eating a cake, etc. You could just simply incorporate a cake somewhere into your map. Maybe there's a cake shop that's part of your village that the player visits, but that's not the entire theme of the map. Or maybe you want to take the word cake and use it in some way that is uh, unique other than the actual object. Maybe your NPC's character name is Johnny Cake. Or maybe there's uh, some caked on mud on the bottom of the killer's shoes. Just be creative with that. Uh, I do give a little bit of extra points for creativity and I do love to give points for uniqueness. Now, the way that this tournament works is that you are watching this video, you will get the theme words in just a minute, I promise. That means that you have some time before you start building to design, plan, think about your map, look up commands, uh, write them in notepad or wherever you'd like, think about what kind of command blocks you want. And you can do all that stuff before you start actually building the map. Once you open the world, you can also build a lobby for your map, which means like, a little starting platform with a button that says start and then teleports you to your map. That you can build um, without starting the timer. Now, once you're ready to actually build and test your actual map, that's when you're gonna wanna start the timer. You're gonna wanna go ahead and build it. I would definitely suggest testing out any sort of special effects or scoreboards that you have uh, during the 60 minutes and then you're gonna stop the timer. Now, this next part is really important. After the 60 minute timer is up, you can go back into your world, fly your character over to, or fly the player over to the place you want me to start your map, and then put yourself in the proper game mode. So for example, if you want the player to be in adventure mode, don't, Put, don't have don't log out at the end of your map fly yourself to the beginning of your map or to your lobby and then land put yourself in adventure mode and then log out that way that when I log in I'll be in the correct mode to play your map if you leave me in creative mode with a bunch of stuff in my inventory oh and clear your inventory if you leave me in creative mode with a bunch of stuff in your inventory I might think that's part of your puzzle or mini game and you don't want me to ruin it that way 
Um, and again, those last steps don't have to count towards your 60 minute. You can do that after your build is complete. Just put me in the proper place, clear my inventory, and set my game mode. Now, also what I would suggest that you do, and this is completely up to you, after you're done building and testing in the 60 minutes, you've got me where you want, save your world, then go into your worlds folder, make a copy of that world, and then go in and play your world, the copy of your world from scratch, and just see how it is. See if you have any major bugs or anything like that uh, that you need to worry about in advance. In particular, I had some issues in week one with clocks. And sometimes when chunks get loaded and unloaded, clocks get stuck in Minecraft. You really don't want that to ruin the experience. If I see clocks that are stuck, I do try to fix them um, before I play it. But just something that would save any chance of heartache uh, if you test your own world before you send it to me. All right. Uh, last thing I will say is I would prefer that you don't create your map in the snapshots they're not official releases they are buggy they can do all sorts of nasty stuff depending if you open the world in the wrong snapshot so I would prefer that you make your world in a 1.8.8 compatible version of Minecraft now if for some reason you don't if you create it in 1.7.10 if you create it in a snapshot I'm not going to disqualify you, but you need to tell me very explicitly when you leave your comment that it's in a snapshot because I'm going to be, by default, playing these worlds in 1.8.8. And I might not realize that you created it in a snapshot unless you tell me very explicitly. All right, so let's get on to the week three words. So for week three, we're only going to have one theme word that you need to incorporate into your PvP, survival, or parkour map. And that word is going to be made up of some of the words that didn't get used in the first rounds. If you watched my first video, you may remember that the words in these dispensers were created based on things that I knew about Wreckabilly, CDF Demand, Unlikely Waffle, and myself. So... From week one, I have taken the last remaining six words, and those will go in here for sure. And from week two, I'm just going to hit this button once. There's actually eight words left in each dispenser. This will give me two. And I'm going to go ahead and put those words in here. And I'm going to hit this just once, and that will be the theme word that I use for week three. The theme word for week three is robot. So you need to make a PVP map, survival map, or parkour map in 60 minutes or less. In some way, incorporate the theme of robot and deliver that to me by August 21st and you could be the winner. Come back on Monday and you will find out who is the winner of week two and then you'll see all my LPs of week two maps. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for participating. Um, I know that uh, experienced map makers, new map makers alike, have been having a good time with this contest. Please uh, tell your friends, tell other YouTubers. You can go and download the maps from all the people that you see behind me with yellow bodies. Those were all contestants in week one. I'm going to be adding at least nine more contestants from week two, hopefully more. So we're getting a big, huge audience here, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a very good learning exercise. So thank you so much, and uh, happy mapping.